Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I figured I'd start the video now because what a better time to do it than at 5.30 in the morning with the gorgeous orange skies and the very rare rainstorm on Verhonga Savannah, which just ended pretty much right as I started it, so... That's a little unfortunate, but at least we got to see it a little bit. But anyway, guys, we're going to be doing some multiplayer here on Verhonga Savannah, trying to find as many good trophies as we can, because I did get a couple really awesome moments on Verhonga in some of the recent live streams, and we'll get to those eventually. But first, I think what we're going to do is do some server hopping and just see what we can find. This server's at Gemsbok time, so we're going to check them first, but I'm going to prioritize Cape Buffalo as much as I can because I really want to get a brown diamond. And that's going to be one of those things that might take a while to do, but eventually I want to get it. So we're just going to grind them as much as we can and hop to as many multiplayer servers as we possibly can too in hopes of finding one. Well, even though this server is at a beautiful time of day and actually at Gemsbok drink time, Unfortunately, a lot of people are hunting in the areas that I wanted to hunt and all the places that I've checked haven't really had anything too special, unfortunately, which is not too surprising considering this map has a lot of tents on it and there was a few people in the session, so it doesn't surprise me that we didn't find much, but it's a little unfortunate because it was pretty much at the perfect time. Well, it may not be a rare, but that is the most interesting thing that I've seen so far. That is, I believe, the black-brown fur type for the Springbok. I think it's called black-brown at least. It could be dark-brown, but it's at about 300 meters. We're going to see if we can get a shot into it. I think we should be able to. Hopefully, at least. That appeared to be pretty good. And it is losing HP. Even though these little guys are not considered to be rares, I still haven't seen them all too often as of recent and they look really cool so I'm never too mad about finding them. Definitely a cool little thing to find even though it can only be females unfortunately I hope eventually they change it to where males can also get this fur type too and yeah it is called black brown so that's pretty cool. But yeah as I was saying I'd love to see them make it so the males can have this color too. That would be really, really cool if they could. I could only imagine how sought after a diamond black brown would be. It would be quite incredible, to be honest. And I really hope they eventually decide to revamp the Verhonga rares and uncommons to make it so a lot of them can be male too, because currently there's a lot of them that are female only, which is pretty unfortunate. Well, step one has been completed. We finally got into a decent server. It's got a level six host as you guys can see and it's actually at the second drink time for Gemsbok so we got a bunch of them right here now we just gotta find one that's actually worth shooting which is easier said than done when they're bunched up so tightly like this I did just see one yeah that's that's actually a guaranteed wow alright well we got a guaranteed diamond right there and he just changed the time so this guy's gonna be moving around we need to act on this as quickly as we can if we can just get this guy spotted again and then separate him from the rest of the herd, that's going to be ideal. There he is, right there. Wow, that is pretty incredible. I didn't even know this guy was in there until I started looking through them. I just noticed that his horn stood out compared to the others in the background of this herd. He just looked so much more massive. And sure enough, he is a massive level 4. Now if we can just get him in front of the rest, that would be perfect. But as with pretty much every hunt that I have that ends in this area, he's going to be stubborn and stick in the back. I almost never can get these guys to go out in the front. And all the big ones almost always seem to be in the back of the herd, which is a little unfortunate. But I think we should be able to get him shortly, provided we can just get them to move around the way we need them. Ooh, that is perfect and he is now fleeing. I'm actually not sure what caused him to flee off. I don't think we should have spooked him there, but it looks like we did. So now we got to go chase this guy down and hopefully we don't lose track of him. Oh, that explains that I hear a lion growling over here towards the northeast. That explains everything. I didn't think that I should have spooked them from doing that. I got them to go alert and then I went down and crouched. 
I didn't think it would spook them, and it looks like it actually wasn't us that spooked it, so... That's good to know. Now, it's just gonna be a matter of trying to find this guy in this giant jumbled up herd of Gemsbok. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I guess once we find him, we'll get back to you guys. Okay, there it is, right there. 200 meters away. This is actually gonna work out perfectly. We're gonna try and get him to go alert. That way he stops. Actually, I think he's good right there. And that was good. So that is a guaranteed diamond level 4 Gamsbok. He most likely won't go anywhere in the lodge, and you guys are going to see why when we get towards the end of this video. Because there was something pretty insane that happened during one of the recent live streams, and... After we check this guy out, we'll probably jump straight into that. There she is, what a beauty. What a beautiful Gemsbok. Unfortunately, it's a little bit dark, so I can't really get any good pictures, but let's go ahead and claim her. 346.10. This is the gray fur type also, so that's pretty cool. Always nice to get these Gemsbok. I never get tired of shooting big Gemsbok. They just look so impressive. But as I was saying, this will definitely not go in the main lodge, but we will put it in one of our secondary lodges. But it's still a really good looking Gemsbok. So I think we're going to continue hunting on this server since this is a level 6 server and it's already produced a big diamond Gemsbok. But before we do that, let's jump into some of the kills that we got over the past week. And this first one that we got actually doesn't have any commentary over it, so I'll kind of explain what was happening, but... But yeah, let's uh, jump straight into those. Gotta love when you haven't even spotted it yet, and you can already tell- Oh my gosh, that's a five! Well, we found all the good Gemsbok. Oh my gosh, that's- Holy- That's a five female. Those are almost always a max score. It doesn't look like anything else in here is good, it's just these two. But, oh my gosh, that is... Ridiculous. That's the last thing I expected to find here. Well, we're off to a fantastic start here on Verhonga. Oh my gosh, let's try to get their attention. Ooh, he moved as I shot. But I don't think we hit him, so we should be okay. Ooh, we got the female down. That was the primary one that we wanted to make sure we get a good shot into. We'll chase down that other five soon, but that's the one that I mainly wanted. Because those are so hard to find. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're in multiplayer, so I'm not going to waste time with pictures. We're just going to claim this thing. 358 max scoring level 5 Gemsbok. Well, we can put this across from our 1000 scoring Gemsbok female then. I can't believe it. We got ourselves a max score. That is super awesome. A max scoring female Gemsbok. That's so cool, guys. That's so cool. It has been, I think, three years since I got my last level 5 female Gemsbok. It feels really good to get another one. Oh my gosh. And just like my last one that I got three years ago, this one is also max score. So we now have a 1000 scoring one and a 358 max scoring one. That's super awesome. And we still have another five to chase down. We gotta chase down that level five male. This is why this location is so good for Gemsvok. There's always something good almost every server you join in on. That's him. That's gotta be him. 
I'd recognize those horns anywhere. Yep, it's him right there. Once he calms down, we'll try to get a shot into him. Although, he's gonna be in an interesting spot when he stops. We're gonna have to wait a couple seconds. Once he starts coming back, we should have a clear shot. Yeah, I don't know where this guy is. He's not with these. This is a different herd, I think. But the question is, where did he end up? There's always a chance that it's back where we initially spotted them. Which would be interesting. I don't know if it actually would go clear back there yet, but... It's worth a check. Because I don't see anything up here. There he is. There he is. Finally found him. But yeah, I don't think this guy's a diamond. He doesn't look like it. Although you never know, he might end up being a diamond. I might be wrong. But I don't think he looks like one. Now we just gotta get him to stay broadside. I think that was good. Yes, we got him. We got him. Let's go, guys. Wait, that's a... Wait, that's a different one? What? That... That's a different one? Are you guys... You guys are messing with me, right? That can't be a different one. The other one went to 350. There's no way. What? Oh my gosh. Well, this is an insane Gemsbok herd. What level is the host anyway? 27, that explains it. This is a level 27 host. That explains it. Oh my gosh, there's two. There's a four. All right, so let's claim this guy real quickly. It does look pretty big, like... It's a gold 331. This doesn't have as high of an estimate as the other one. So let's hope the next one does end up being diamond. Because this guy was just a gold, sadly. Which is unfortunate, but we still have one to look for. Is that him? Oh, that's him. That's him. Definitely him. Yep, that's the one. Up to 350. Should we make a 350 meter shot on a 350 estimate Gemsbok? I say yes. It's risky, but I think we can do it. Yeah, he's not going to go perfectly broadside. We're going to get a little bit closer. Probably to 300 even, then we should be able to make the shot. Although they're coming back. They're actually coming back towards us. This might work out in the way we need it to. That is our big male right there. Look at that giant. Oh my gosh. Just need them to come out of the brush. Okay, here they come. Here they come. That's the one that was in the front. That's another one. Where's our big one? He couldn't be too much further behind them. Yeah, right there. There he is. There he is. Let's get him to go broadside. He's being really stubborn, though. We got him. That definitely got lungs. We smoked him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We got him. Let's go, guys. So that is the third level 5 Gemsbok in, I think, two herds? Because that other 5 was definitely from a different herd, but this is the one that was next to our level 5 female. Wow. That is one of the biggest looking level 5 males I've ever seen. Given I think they only have two different horn shapes for the level 5s, but... Still, I got a good feeling about this one. I've been trolled five or six times by these level five Gemsbok in the past. Never had a diamond one. Will today be the day? 
I really hope so. There we go. Look at that beast of a Gemsbok. Will this be our first ever diamond? It is! We did it! We did it. I think that's max score. I think that's a max scoring male. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've never had that happen before. That is two max weight Gemsbok in one herd. A male and a female level five. Wow. I can't believe that. This is the most insane moment I've ever had on Verhonga. I can't believe that, guys. Oh my gosh. Holy. That's so cool. That is so cool. Oh, we almost. That was almost bad, too. We hit vertebrae along with the lungs. Wow. I think we might stick around on the server a little bit longer and look around because this is a pretty low level guy. I think he was level 27, which explains why a lot of his map was not even searched at all. Like, there was no need zones in this area for these Gemsbox, so he had never been down to this south corner. 342 scoring max weight male Gemsbok. You don't see those every day. These guys are pretty uncommon to find. And for it to be in a herd with another level 5 female, max score also, is just incredible. Too bad that third level 5 trolled, but can't really ask for too much more. We got two diamonds. And it was the two that were in the same herd. That other one that we just randomly found ended up being a huge troll. That's insane. I can't believe that. There we have a level 9 Cape Buffalo. It's drinking a little bit far away from the water, but that's perfectly fine with me. It actually makes it a little more out in the open. But there we go. A max estimate of 154, so this is by no means a guarantee. But we'll see. Hopefully this thing will end up making it. The only problem is we have just the 454 with us. At least for guns that can kill them, so... We're gonna have to try and get... Oh. Alright. Uh, we've now hit a sense of urgency. Think we can do this? Think that hit good. Let's hope. Ow. Oh gosh, that scared me. Uh, panic. Where is he? Oh, I think we got him. I think we got him. He just went down. I think that actually was good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we got him. I don't think it would have killed him that fast if we had missed vitals. Well, I mean, we're going to find out soon. We can just find his tracks. Oh my gosh, that's vital blood. We got him, guys. We actually managed to make that shot. Oh my gosh, I was so scared. I was getting rushed by that thing. Ooh, ooh hello there. Is that a springbok? It is. Alright, let's see what this thing is. Will this end up being a diamond? It is 152.20. There we have it. Diamond Cape Buffalo with the gray uh, fur type, actually. That's nice. So I had a dream that we got a brown diamond cape buffalo and it may not be the brown fur type, but that is a gray fur type, so it's at least not a common. So that's pretty sweet actually. The the dream I had was half, right? <laughs> you know when you start dreaming about Call of the Wild that you might play it a little bit too much. And I think that's definitely the case here. <laughs> but hey, it actually got us a diamond today, so I'll take it. So now as we enter our lodge, we are immediately greeted 
by three max weight max core Gemsbok. One from a very long time ago when they were still using the 1 to 1000 system. This was the first ever level 5 female Gemsbok I ever spotted. And then we got our two new ones, the max scoring 358 level 5 female Gemsbok and our max scoring male level 5 Gemsbok. These are two of the most incredible trophies I've killed in the past year. I think ever since I started YouTube, I haven't had a moment quite as insane as this. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed it because this was so exciting for me to be able to see two max level Gemsbox side by side and both of them turning out to be max score. It really is one of those once in a lifetime opportunities in this game that just doesn't happen too often. There's been plenty of times where I've found two max levels of the same species in the same server or even in the same herd, but never having both of them be max score. Unfortunately, these were the only good things on that server. I hunted around for like a full hour on that server and these were the only two good things I could find, but they managed to be incredibly good, which I never would have expected. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get any other Gemsbok that we could have put in our lodge. Those two that you guys also saw in this video weren't quite high enough scoring to be a part of this main lodge, so they're going to go into one of the secondary lodges. And that Grey Cape Buffalo, I was actually wrong. We already did have a gray one. I, For some reason, I thought that was a fur type we didn't have, but... As we can see right here, we already had a 154, which means the one that we killed in this video is not going to make it into this lodge either. So most likely it'll go into one of the secondary lodges too. But I think that's not really too big of a deal since we already have one in here that scores a little bit higher. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. We're going to go ahead and leave it there. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I post three to five videos a week along with daily live streams. Also, be sure to hit like and comment on the video and also ring that notification bell if you haven't already. That way you guys will get notified when I post a brand new video or do a live stream. I also do try to reply to as many of the comments as I can. So if there's something that you really want to ask me, feel free to do it down below. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!